The oppressive humidity inland has been rough for residents throughout southern New England for the past week or so, so it's welcome news that we're finally going to get a break from the heat. Eyewitness News reporter Kate Walsh joins us now, live as many people prepare to relax. Hi, Kate. Hi, Julianne. We are live along the East Bay bike path here in East Providence, overlooking Providence, and definitely some noticeable signs of changing weather on the way. It's becoming very windy, and behind us, we can see some very dark clouds over the capital city. In the past hour, I've been teetering with putting my hood on and off because there have been raindrops at times, and they go away, they come back, they go away. Right now, it's dry, but the clouds are rolling in, and it's getting dark darker out here. Earlier today, we spoke with several people just looking forward to an end to this oppressive week of weather. An ominous sky, swirling gray clouds blocked the sun, but surprisingly did not cloud the moods of people out doing errands. Don't like the humidity. So are you looking forward to the storm? A little bit, yes. Not, not the heavy rains and flooding, but the storm will get over. A little bit cooler, a little less humidity, hopefully. Yes, you heard correctly, looking forward to a storm in July, and she wasn't alone. It's pretty oppressive and heavy, but we're looking forward to this storm to push on through, I guess. So pretty excited about that. But again, we complain if it's hot, if it's hot and it's cold, it's as cold. We're New Englanders. So. These folks from Georgia aren't complaining too much about the humidity. We brought it with us. They're used to it. So how is yeah. it worse than this? Well, uh, when you take those clothes out of the closet, if you don't have air conditioning, they're moldy. With that humidity at its breaking point Friday morning, bikers were out exercising before the rain, sailboats going for a final ride in the Providence River before that extreme weather hit. Shopping carts stocked with water and food to wait out the storm to wash away the humidity and bring back more comfortable air. So I did a poll on social media asking people if they'd rather complain about heat in the summer or cold in the winter. And as of noontime today, 47% said they'd rather complain about it being too hot in the summer. 53% rather complain about it being too cold in the winter. Live in East Providence, I'm Kate Walsh, Eyewitness News.